Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to understand the HSL adjustment in Affinity software. Using the HSL adjustment, we can fine tune the colors in an image or even completely change them. For example, let's change the color of this car. Select the image layer and apply the HSL adjustment layer. The HSL adjustment tab will open which has a large color circle and hue, saturation and luminosity sliders. Under this large color circle, you can see these small circles. These represent the color channels. Using the first multicolored circle, we can alter all colors at once. In our image, the car color is yellow. So we will select the yellow channel then if we change the hue the color of the car will change but if we look closely we can see that other parts of the image also change color we can easily fix this issue before that let's delete this adjustment first we will create a rough selection of the car using the selection tools with the subject selected apply the hsl adjustment this will create an HSL adjustment with a mask of our selection. Now you can deselect the subject using Ctrl plus D on Windows or Command plus D on Mac. Then select the subject color. In this case, it's the yellow color. To fine tune the color selection, we can use the picker and select the color from the image. Then use the hue shift slider to change the subject color. You can change the saturation and luminosity according to your needs. And here is the result. For the next example, we will change this red cap to a yellow one. Like before, we will create a rough selection of the cap. Then apply the HSL adjustment and select this red circle. Then using the hue slider, change the cap color. But we can see a problem here. As our selection is not pixel perfect, some parts of the face also change color. To solve this, we can fine tune our selection, which will be time consuming in the case of complex objects. Or we can fine tune the color range using the large circle on the adjustment tab. If you pay close attention to the circle, you can see it is divided into two parts, inner and outer. The inner part indicates the original color of our image and the outer part indicates the changed color. When we select a color channel, we can see these four nodes on the circle. These four nodes indicate our selected color range. We can move them to fine tune our color range. For this image, I will try to remove the yellow color by moving the bottommost node upwards and then the color changes to the face are gone then change the cap color to yellow using the hue slider i will change the saturation and luminosity according to my need now let's enhance this landscape image using the hsl adjustment and with some other adjustments first i will apply levels adjustment and increase the black level to 15 percent then decrease the white level to 75 percent now i will apply the hsl adjustment to change the tree colors select the tree color using the picker and change the color using hue slider change saturation and luminosity as needed Finally, use the HSL adjustment with masking in case of any minor anomalies. Here are my adjustment settings and this is the image after adjustment. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this tutorial on HSL adjustment in Affinity software helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tips and tutorials. See you in the next video.